Hey guys, Retro Collector here. I love gaming. Being able to turn on any game at any given time is one of the greatest accomplishments of the human race. But I did say that it's only one of the greatest accomplishments of mankind. Well, let me put it like this. Playing games at home is great and all, but what about all that time you've wasted doing homework? Yup, the obvious answer is cheating. Uh, I mean portable gaming. There's no getting around it. Being able to bring games around with you wherever you go is incredible to think about to this day. Which is why one of the very first portable gaming systems had a screen that looks like pit screen lake water mixed with ink made to give the illusion of a screen. Ah, the Game Boy. We've spent a total of 59 seconds talking about this thing, but when you get down to it, the Game Boy is a successful system released in 1989, with a long battery life. But what were its successors? The Game Boy Pocket released in 1996, and did, get this, in 1998, we got the Game Boy Color. We sure did. Yeah, it has its own games, but nothing that special to be honest. The only upgrade to this model is that it can finally display all the skill colors on the screen as it pleases. In 2001, the Game Boy Advance released. Again, not backlit, you still had to go outside to see the screen. The last two Game Boy systems released were the Game Boy Advance SP and the Game Boy Micro. Get this though, they finally have lit screens. Hold up, stop, rewind the clock. <laughs> Hey guys, Retro Collector here. Originally, playing games portably was a cool idea, but what if you wanted to do the exact opposite? What if you wanted to play portable games on your TV? Well, I have news for you, video game collectors out there. The Super Game Boy for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System allows you to play all Game Boy games on your TV. Still not satisfying, huh? Then please, let my friends here persuade you otherwise. If you're an Xbox user, go ahead and click off the video right here, right now, because what I'm about to say, you won't enjoy whatsoever. Okay. Alright, now that we've gotten rid of you Xbox users, we can get to the important stuff. Here I have a GameCube. Now this black thing attached to it is a adapter. This will adapt your GameCube to play any Game Boy game, or Advanced, whichever you prefer. And this thing has an offer going on for about $9.99, where it comes with a cool little disc that'll help run it. Now that you've heard about this, go on by it and hopefully improve this year. Goodbye. If you're still unsatisfied, I'm not sure what to tell you. Maybe you're just a modern gamer watching these videos because you enjoy these retro gaming videos. Maybe you can't afford buying a bunch of retro games. I mean, it makes sense. These things are really like a puzzle. Or maybe I'm just overthinking this one. Whether or not that's the case, hopefully you got some good information about the Game Boy player. Uh, after all, this is a fancy infomercial that just took the time and soul from your life. I mean, a fancy video review. <laughs> what the hell? What the? What is... <sighs> this is exactly why I need a vacation room. Kill her.